What's up everyone, April Dunham here. You'll notice I'm wearing my Parker the SharePoint PNP Porcupine shirt today. That's because I'm going to be talking about SharePoint list formatting. I'll show how you can use SharePoint list formatting to have direct links to open up Teams chats and Teams calls. Not sure what SharePoint list formatting is? Don't worry, I'll cover the basics in this video too. Can't wait to get started and show you the awesomeness that is SharePoint list formatting. But first, here's the intro. start with what SharePoint list formatting is in case you're not familiar. SharePoint list formatting is a way for you to customize the look and feel of your SharePoint list. So if you go to GitHub, WAC, PNP, WAC SP dev list formatting, you can see all kinds of samples that you can use to modify and change the look of your SharePoint list. So you'll look at this example that they show on the website where you can show kind of like a bar fill for the number of days. You can have icons and change the colors. So you can apply this formatting on individual columns like what we're seeing here, but you can also apply these same styles to your entire list views themselves. So for example, here's one that is completely customizing the list to show items in the list as bar charts. Here's another format that I actually did and contributed to the GitHub, which takes your SharePoint list and makes it look as if it's a task in planner. So you can really use this to make your SharePoint list look like they're not even SharePoint list. Another cool thing you can do, these list formats work in web parts as well. So you can take a list that you've formatted like this, put it in your SharePoint pages as a web part, and it looks almost like it was a custom coded web part. These list formattings also work with inside Microsoft Teams. So if you add a list that you've applied formatting to in Teams, that will work in Teams also. How these are working in the background is with JSON. Don't get scared if you don't know JSON because you really don't have to unless you're wanting to do something really custom. There are several examples out here on this GitHub that will probably do most of what you're imagining or wanting to do with list formatting. So really all you have to know how to do is copy and paste. It's typically easier to start off with column samples than entire view samples because they're just a little less complex. What I wanted to show you today specifically that you can do with SharePoint list formatting is something that came up from a client need. They had an employee directory in SharePoint, kind of similar to what we're seeing here. So they have the person's name, email, job title, and all that. But what they wanted to do was be able to select one of these people's names and have that initiate a Teams chat or Teams call to that person. So I told them, no problem, SharePoint list formatting can do this. I've included the JSON samples that you'll need to use to do this on my GitHub. So just go to GitHub, WAC April Dunham, WAC list formatting, and you'll see three files in here. Let's start with the Teams chat option. If you want to use this sample, the first thing you need to do is go to my GitHub, click on the JSON file, and that will open the file for you. Switch it to raw so that you can copy it easily and just do a control A, control C, or right click, copy and paste to copy this down. This is a very simple block of JSON. So if you are familiar with JSON, you'll see that we're just creating an A tag. The title for that A tag will be chat and teams. And for the URL for teams, you can just pass it in a chat and users equal, and then pass in the email address of the user you want to chat to. So we're using this at current field property which is unique to SharePoint list formatting, and it will get whatever current field you're applying this on's value. And another thing you can do with this Teams chat URL is optionally pass it in a message to prefill. So that's just what I did here. I did an ampersand message equals and put in a simple message. But we actually have two A tags. So the first one that says chat and Teams, that links to that. But then beside it, we want to display the Teams logo and also have that link out to the chat. So we've copied this. Now let's see how we actually implement that in our SharePoint list. So if I want to have this email field, which is storing the email value, be a link to open a Teams chat instead, all I have to do is click on the dropdown of the email field, go to column settings, and select format this column. So you'll see there's actually some out of the box 
list formatting that you can do without having to mess with any JSON. So if you select this conditional formatting option, you see that you can, for example, set add rule. And maybe if person is equal to, and then type in a name, show it in blue, red. So there's some simple drag and drop point and click formatting that you can do as well. But what we wanna do, let's just go back here to our column settings and format. We want to select the advanced mode option because this gives us a text box where we can paste in that JSON code that we just looked at. So I'm just gonna paste that in and you can click preview just to make sure that it's working correctly before you save because once you save it's live and anyone that has access to this list is seeing your change. Now it's also important to note with this list formatting, it's not changing the underlying data. So that email address went away. We didn't erase the email address that was in their data source. It's still there. We have just changed the DOM basically so that it displays differently. So that looks good. So I'm just gonna save this and let's test this out. Let me initiate a chat with David. Now you'll notice that it's asking to open the Teams app. Uh, this is a functionality of Teams. You might've noticed this when you're clicking on a Teams meeting invite. I don't know of a way, honestly, to bypass this. So it's going to force you to confirm and say open in Teams app. I know in Power Apps, I think we can get around it by using a, the MS Teams colon whack whack URL shortcode. But unfortunately, SharePoint list formatting doesn't accept those shortcodes. So this is one kind of caveat to this functionality. But let's click open in Teams. And you see, as soon as I did that, the chat window is automatically opened with a chat to David. And my message is predefined, so I can just hit send and I'm done. Pretty awesome, right? Okay, so we just looked at how to initiate a chat. Now let's see how we can initiate a call. So that's the Teams call JSON. We'll click on that. And it's doing the exact same thing, except instead of saying chat right there, we're saying call. And actually I just noticed I need to update this because I forgot to change the message but we'll update it in the format, no worries. I'm just gonna reuse this. We'll kind of overwrite what we did here. I'll go to format this column again. We'll uh, erase all of that, paste that in. And let's just make some changes because I wanted to say call in Teams instead of chat. So I'll just come right there. And also we don't need this message for a call. So let's delete that piece right there. Save, okay, nice, that changed to call instead. Now let's initiate a call to David, open in Teams. And you see when you do that, it starts the meet now to start a call with, with David. The last thing I wanted to show isn't Teams related, but kind of along the same lines, we'll see how we can initiate an email message. So if we go to the email.json, it's the exact same, except we're using the mail to option and we're filling in a subject and body. I got this sample from someone else in the community for the email option. So we'll repurpose that same field to go into format. Now it changes to email with an email icon. And there's my new email message. I really love this community sample because it talks about Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman is one of my absolute favorites. You'll see that I also did some other formatting here. So I'm asking if our employees are Marvel or DC fans. This is something that I showcased with David Warner and Hugo Bernier on one of the PNP calls. This is actually utilizing SVGs that you can use in SharePoint column formatting to pull in the logo for Marvel or DC. Now the icons that I was using in the samples that I showed, so the Teams icon and the email, you get those from the Office UI Fabric icons. So if you go to uifabricicons.azurewebsites.net, you have all of these hundreds of different icons that you can use. So any of the Office products has their own corresponding icon in here, plus a ton more. If you wanted a link to a Power App, for example, you can have the Power Apps icon in there. And all you need to do is right click it, copy the friendly name, and that's what you use in this icon name property. Just replace that with the icon that you got from Office UI Fabric. So I thought that was a pretty cool use case of SharePoint column formatting. I also have some videos and blogs on how to use this SharePoint column formatting to open a Power App. So really just the same method that I did here by transforming the column into a URL, except we're going to make that URL be to a Power App. Lots of use cases for this functionality. Hope this inspired you to use SharePoint list formatting. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.